Hi everyone, welcome back. It is day two. I was feeling very festive after putting up the tree yesterday, so got out the holiday pajamas. We have some velvet ones in a nice red, like a deep burgundy. I haven't had holiday pajamas in forever. I don't, I don't even know, but this year I thought I would treat myself, it'd be fun. And I thought, hey, it's already December, let's break into it, let's get going. I got the tree up, it's full on Christmas over here. <laughs> Um, speaking of which, I thought it'd be fun to start the advent calendars. So we have day two to get into. So we'll start with the Dr. Barbara Sturm advent calendar. Let's see, day two is inside the little drawer. It's so tricky to get these out. I think after I get one out from each level, it'll be easier each time. Ooh, it sounds like we have a little serum in here. Oh no! Ooh, a lip balm! Oh my gosh, this is so perfect. Because <laughs> I am on my quest during this Vlogmas to find a replacement for the Bite Beauty. So we'll have to add this to the list of things to try. So far I've been liking the Lawless one. There were some bold claims made on the box. I don't know if uh, I don't know if I look quite volumized yet. It could be a while, but yeah, we'll definitely give this a go. I wonder if it smells like anything. Oh, we are sealed. It does not smell like anything, so that's kind of nice. It's always a little weird when you put something on there and it's just like sitting underneath your nose if it's a fragrance you don't like. Yeah, there's nothing, so this will be nice. Can't wait to try it out. All right, now let's move on to day two for the Netta Porter one. So this is in the top left. Oh my gosh, these are some deep drawers. I think there's some big things in our future. Sarah Chapman London, Intense Hydrating Booster. Moisture Serum, ooh, Moisture Serum sounds good for winter. I haven't actually heard of this. Have any of you guys tried it out? Just let me know. Tips for use. Apply directly to cleanse skin morning and night or mix with your chosen skincare. Okay. Moisture Relief for Thirsty Skin. Yeah, that's gonna be me this winter, so this sounds really good. Supercharge your skincare with my targeted boosters, power dose of hyaluronic acid, and moisture magnets formulated with fancy biocolia. Interesting. All right, well, we'll have to give this a try at some point, and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. That's the fun thing about some of these advent calendars from companies that do a diverse array of brands. You get to try things that you probably either haven't heard of in this case or haven't tried yet, but would like to. Awesome, well, it's a good start to the day. And I'm inspired by my red pajamas. We're going to continue, or we're going to start actually, a quest for a red lipstick. I know, I think I alluded to that earlier, but we're gonna be starting that. We're gonna be doing um, some high-end brands first. We'll start with the fancy stuff, and then the following day, we'll do some drugstore red lipstick. Well, that was a nice start to the day. We've got some lip balm, uh, we've got our coffee almost finished, so <laughs> I should get on with my day and get started, and I will see you guys in a little while to try on red lipsticks to get us in the holiday mood. Hi guys, all right, now it's time to sit down and try on some red lipsticks. Figure a great way to start Vlogmas, you know, it's already day two and we're gonna be entering party season. So it's a good time to figure out what is your best shade of red. Now for each person, it's gonna be unique. It depends on your skin tone, your undertones, and even just your preference. So we're going through a decent variety. I have a bunch of different brands here in front of me. I have a few different um, like finishes, but the same color. So we'll be doing like a half and half, or like one half of my mouth will do one, and then for the other side, we'll be doing the same color, but with a different finish, just to kind of understand how that can affect things. A lot of these are the more long-wearing matte finishes. 
that seems to be very popular. You're going to the parties, you'll have like hors d'oeuvres, you'll be talking to people. You want your lipstick to last as long as possible. So that was part of the selection criteria. I was a little biased towards colors that would be more flattering on myself. There are some orange reds in here, which are usually good if you're more tan. So if you have just gotten back from vacation or you use yourself tanning drops or you just happen to have a darker complexion, the more orange tones would look lovely on you. And for, for my pale self, especially as winter wears on, I usually tend to look better with the more blue reds. So there's a slight bias to that, but we've got a mix, so let's get into it. All right, the first color is gonna be a Bobbi Brown. It is the shade On Fire, and it is a luxe matte lip color. In spite of uh, missing a little bit on the bottom, I was I'm trying not to use any lip liner because that's just, I mean, my lips are gonna have a hard enough time already going through this many different shades, but I just want to get an idea for the color. This was really interesting. It, it went on, it almost felt like it was a powder that was turning into a cream as I was swiping it across my lips. So this is a nice, like more blue red shade. So this is, this is the kind of color that's supposed to like make your teeth look a little whiter and be better for pale complexions. Even though it's matte, it doesn't feel drying. It actually still feels fairly hydrating on the lips. Okay, Bobbi Brown, this is really pretty. This is a nice contender. I mean, we're only number one and we already have a really nice shade here. I'm gonna be removing any of the um, bullet lipsticks with this Meisler Water from La Roche-Posay. If any of them are more of the liquid stain, I'll be using, I still I still have some of that Essie Edit. I mean, I, it's, it's a two in one. So it's one of those like oil and Meisler Water combinations that you have to shake up. This, is, this works really well, only got so much of it. I know it doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore, but the Lancome, they make a really great one too. I'm sure everyone has their favorites, but those are the two we're gonna be using to try to make it through all of this. All right, clean slate. You know, for being a bullet lipstick, that was actually surprisingly difficult to remove. I think there must be like a little bit of stain quality to it. So I think you would be okay wearing that if you're gonna be having appetizers or cocktails. I mean, nothing is gonna survive like a full meal. Let's just set that expectation. But I think that would be a wonderful option for parties with hors d'oeuvres. All right, now we're gonna move on to a liquid Smashbox. This is a more orange based red. So we'll, we'll immediately try one of those out. This one is always on liquid lipstick in the color Bang Bang. You like this one? All right, so here we have Bang Bang. Always makes me think of that Nancy Sinatra song. I don't know if that's what they were trying to channel, but that's just where my mind goes. <laughs> um, I've let it dry down a little bit. We have a pretty nice matte finish, but it doesn't look like the life has been sucked out of my lips. And it does it does feel comfortable. We're not, we're not like regretting our choices. Sometimes you put it on and you just feel like, but um, <laughs> this is really nice. I don't, I don't know. I mean, you let me know if you think it suits me. I'm not sure. I like this quite as much as I liked the Bobbi Brown. I think it just depends on the outfit. Like maybe, maybe the rest of the look isn't quite jiving, but still it's a very nice color. I think it's a great formula too. I've used several of the other Smashbox colors. So you can't go wrong really. Smashbox is a good, good quality brand. All right, let's see how this comes off. All right, that was quite the saturated shade. It took a little elbow grease and a two in one oil based makeup remover, but we've, uh, I think we have a clean slate. We're starting to get like, you know, you can tell the foundation's getting wiped off. We're getting a little weird. So as we go, I know it's it's gonna look interesting, but again, we're here just to look at the shades and the colors. All right, next we have a Jane Eardale shade. I actually haven't tried any of these lip colors, so I was really excited to give one a go. I've heard really good things about this. This is the Beyond Matte Lip Stain, and we have the shade Longing. So this is another liquid, this is fairly dark. I'm trying to decide. I feel like it's a little raspberry -y, so maybe a little on the cool side. So this should be, this should be a nice match for me. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a little darker. I do like this one a lot. This feels like one of the less intimidating shades of red. I know sometimes like a real bright, like true red or brick red can be a little, a little hard to wear. This one feels a little easier. Like you'd put it on and feel like, okay, this is a little darker than normal, but it's not too far outside the comfort zone. Okay, so it's drying down. We're getting a little more of that sensation of like the matte lipstick. It almost feels a little sticky. Typically that means those are more long wearing, so we'll see. Well, okay, we won't see because I'm gonna wipe it off and try on another one soon. I'll have to try this one. I really like it, so we'll have to give an update. Stick with me throughout Vlogmas, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll be wearing this later and let you know how it goes. Yeah, we should do wearability tests with a few of the favorites. Vote down in the comments and let me know which colors were your favorite, and I'll try wearing those over the course of Vlogmas. All right, that was definitely a lip stain. It took even more elbow grease to get that off, but I think we've got a reasonably clean slate, and we're ready to move on to the next one. I have an hourglass bullet lipstick, or as much of a bullet as it looks like. I don't know where I've been. I know these have been around a while. They're refillable. I just, I haven't gotten around to trying it yet. So I figured this is a great opportunity. This shade is lovely. This is a little more of the raspberry -y blue red. It's super thin, so it's interesting. It almost feels like a mini, but it's quite long. Like you get, you know, a full size, but it's, it's a little more petite. So it's hopefully gonna be easier to put on. I feel like I love this one for a different reason. It's more of a, the bullet, like a shine. I don't think this is intended to be super long wearing or matte. I mean, certainly not matte, but I just, I like that little extra shine, especially for a holiday party color. This is really pretty. I mean, this is again, more of a blue red. So this is going to be more flattering on myself. Yeah, this one's nice. This one's very pretty. This one doesn't feel as, is bold either. Like this would be a little easier to wear in case you're a little intimidated. I'll have to, I'm sorry, it's a refillable color. So it's a little hard to figure out on the actual tube itself what the name of the color is. So I'll have to link that in the description box down below. All right, at least that one was easier to take off since it is just a more traditional bullet lipstick without like the matte finish or the extra stain power. It felt really comfortable. A little sad to take it off because some of these, especially by the end with all the liquids, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna be suffering a little. Um, but next is another bullet. I mean, we can't do this list of trying to find an excellent shade of red without the classic Ruby Woo from MAC Cosmetics. This is definitely a universally flattering true red and it's been around forever for a reason. All right, this particular shade of Ruby Woo is in the uh, matte finish. This is a retro matte. I mean, it's really pretty, hard to go wrong. I do like um, a little more satin at a minimum finish, but this is nice. It does feel like this would really stay and not go anywhere. It almost has kind of a blurred effect on your lips. Like if you were trying to do it on purpose, you know, applying it carefully with a brush, but here just going straight in with the bullet, it actually ends up with a very blurred effect. And part of it is we've put on and removed a bunch of lipsticks already. So we're starting to get a little, a little pink around the edges, but the actual lipstick itself definitely appears blurred across the whole, the whole lip. All right, from one absolutely iconic brand for lipstick, we're moving on to one of my personal favorite brands for lipstick. We have NARS Cosmetics in the shade Funky Town. This is a little more of an orange red, so I'm really excited to see how this looks. Let's see, this is a power matte liquid lipstick. All right, so this ended up being 
pretty orange. I didn't think it looked quite this orange online, but man, this would be fun for spring. We're holding on to this one. So if this is more your speed for party season, Funky Town, or I mean, just your speed in general. That's a really fun color. And the Power Mat is an excellent formula. I love American Woman. Been using that for years. What a fun surprise. I almost kind of like it with like between the red hair and the green. I'm like, I'm kind of feeling it. I would definitely wear this to a party. And then you're a little different than everyone wearing the classic red. Well, after that pleasant surprise from NARS, I want to get into some minis I have. I bought like a little lipstick set from Valentino and it came with two colors that intrigued me. I couldn't figure out quite what the difference was. They looked so similar. So this one is the shade 217A. So this looks like a little more like slightly either orangey red or a true red. And then the next color, so that's 217. This is 213R. I'll hold them up next to each other and you can see what I mean. They're extremely similar. So I wanna do a half and half to see if I can figure out like what the difference is. I know I could probably like swatch them on my arm or something practical, but we're not here to do something practical today. We're here to have some fun with lipstick. See, like you can tell there's a slight difference, but there isn't a huge difference. So we're gonna explore exactly what the difference is and which one I like better. Oh, also as a side note, can you see that little V on the actual lipstick itself? So cute. All right, we're gonna put 217 on the left side here. Well, my left, it'll be your right. Took kind of a second to get it going, sort of like new eyeshadow. Sometimes there's like a little bit on the actual uh, surface you have to sort of swipe away and then it'll get going. Yeah, I think this was the same kind of deal. It's really pretty. Yeah, I think this is the more darker kind of orangey red. Let's see what the other side shows. All right, so this is 213R will be on my right, your left. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely more of a blue red. So you can kind of tell, I mean, they're very similar, but they're definitely different. I know, do you have a preference? I think they both look really pretty. Yeah, I think it would just depend. I feel like, the, at least for me, this is more of like a day red. And then the like bluer red is a little more of like an evening date night red. All right, as nice as it's been to have like a bullet lipstick on that feels nice and moisturizing and has a good satin finish, uh, we will move on and we will try some Dior next. All right, so from one fashion house to another, we're moving on to some Christian Dior shades. This is the classic 999, their iconic shade of red. This one happens to be a liquid. And then here's the same shade 999 in bullet form. So both of these are a matte finish, but one is, you know, bullet form and the other is the liquid lipstick. So for this one, because it's the same shade, but different, um, slightly different, you know, delivery methods as if you will, we're gonna do another half and half and see how they stack up together. I love doing this because then you can really see the difference between the two, because if you're just looking at swatches, it's a little hard to tell how they'll really wear on your lips. All right, let's do the other half with the bullet. All right, these are very similar. I feel like the side with um, the bullet lipstick went on uh, just like a little more saturated. I think you could probably layer on some more with the liquid, but they're pretty similar and it feels a little more comfortable on this side, but they both look pretty matte. There's almost the same finish. So I think this really just comes down to what do you like better? Do you prefer to apply a liquid lip color or do you like like the, the bullet format? But yeah, of course it's the iconic 999 from Dior. So it, it's always a lovely shade of red. 
Looks like you can't go wrong no matter what you choose. Okay, we're entering the home stretch. And one thing that has like kept my lips alive, I just wanna give a shout out to the Term Store Lip Quench. I was trying to come across anything I had that could possibly replace the Bite Beauty Lip Balm. Rusted soul. Um, and I came across this and it's very thin and I've discovered I really like putting just the smallest amount on before I apply lipstick. I have very dry lips, so oftentimes lipstick can just end up exacerbating some of those like lines and the dryness in my lips. And just like the smallest amount of this just dabbed on has saved me in general, let alone during all of this. So yeah, a quick little shout out. All right, and now carrying on as if we were at New York Fashion Week, we're moving on to Yves Saint Laurent. We have the YSL Touche Eclat, the liquid. I love this formula. I have it in at least five other shades. This is shade number one. So again, their iconic shade of red. We have liquid. And then I did just pick this up. It's the bullet form. I just wanna spend a moment to appreciate how beautiful this is. It's kind of like that perfume bottle they have where the YSL logo just goes along the side of it. It's so pretty and it doesn't really feel cheap at all. It's like nice and heavy. It's got like a nice feel. So if anyone in your life enjoys this lipstick, this is a lovely gift idea. All right, so after ooing and eyeing over the bullet, we're going to open her up and take a look. So this is a little, a little more orangey red. Again, we'll do the same thing. We'll put the liquid on, we'll just do the same side. So we'll do liquid on this side and then the bullet on the, my right, your left. And we'll get started with my one of my favorite liquid lip formulas. We took a little creative liberty. We went like a little outside the lines to pretend like the lips are a little bigger. It has that iconic scent. If you've ever used one of their lipsticks before, there's just a certain way it smells. I don't know what it is. It's like if you were to take something fruit flavored but make it smell really like expensive fruit flavored. I, I love it. It's like an amazing version of Fruit Loops. <laughs> All right, now we'll go in on the next side with again the bullet form of the shade just number one. This is interesting. I feel like it's two different colors. I feel like the bullet one, in this case, isn't quite as saturated. I tried adding a little more. It feels like a slightly bluer red and the other one's the more orange. But they're supposedly the same shade. They're each number one. Interesting. I mean, they each feel really comfortable, each in their own way. This feels a little more hydrating and the other side feels um, just like the most comfortable liquid look formula you can imagine. It's like, there's nothing there. So in this case, they are not both matte. This one does have a little more sheen to it. Oh man, I like them each for different reasons. I don't know, what do you think? I kind of feel like the liquid side might dethrone the Jane Iredell color. I know it's been kind of sitting there in this little throne and the others have been really nice, but I haven't thought like, wow, this was something special. But I don't know, we could, we could have a situation here. There's someone challenging the throne. All right, and then the brand closing out this lipstick edition of Fashion Week, or <laughs> at least Vlogmas Day 2, is Tom Ford. I bought a little set of mini lipsticks from him and we have two lovely shades of red right here that I'll be trying on. We have number 16, Scarlet Rose. This looks to be a more like classic true red. I don't know that it's really leaning more blue or orange. So I guess we'll find out when we put it on. I love these little minis. They're just so tiny and so, so cute. Yeah, this just feels like a more classic true red. 
it is more of a satin finish and it feels it feels pretty comfortable on the lips it's not it's not really drying but it doesn't feel like extra hydrating it doesn't really feel like there's much on there at all actually i've never tried a tom ford lipstick before so this is a new one for me yeah this one feels very wearable it doesn't feel like it's one of the more intimidating bold red lipsticks but yeah it's so tiny on these little minis <laughs> yeah this was number 16 and the next color we have is 15. this one is wild ginger so this looks to be a little more of an orange red. I've been liking those more than I thought I would. I feel like I'm discovering something about myself here. Like maybe I'm not quite as pale and cool toned as I thought maybe I was for lipsticks. But yeah, let's get number 16 off and we'll put 15 on. Yeah, this one's definitely more on the orange side of the red spectrum. I actually feel like this one has a little more sheen to it as well. Maybe it's just in my mind. So yeah, this is really lovely. I don't know if I like it quite as much as some of the others. For coming in the set, I do think I'll still get use out of it. Yeah, it's very bright. Maybe we'll have to come back into the rotation during the spring. All right, there we have it. We made it through 14 different shades of red lipstick. I somehow, my lips survived. We're feeling pretty good. We ended on a nice, more satiny, cushiony finish instead of a matte, which is a nice change of pace. I'm trying to decide what my favorite was. I really loved the Hourglass lipstick. So for a more cool based red, that was a fun discovery. I really liked that one. So that's certainly high on the list of favorites. It's also hard to go wrong with um, the shade number one from YSL in the liquid form. These really don't budge. I had a heck of a time getting it off. I don't even think I completely got it off because there was like just the little um, amount of stain still left. They always fade so beautifully. I think this is definitely, definitely going on the hit list for party season. And then the Jane Iredell, the, let's see, Beyond Matte Lip Stain and the color Longing. It's almost just fun to say it, but yeah, this one certainly was a highlight. I have not tried much from this brand. It's uh, making me want to explore it a little bit more. Let me know, have you tried this or do you have any favorites? Like what's the first thing I should try? I mean, this was clearly the literal first thing, but what should I do next? <laughs> oh yeah, and then NARS Funky Town, which I cannot wait for spring. I think that, well, I generally can't wait for spring because it's cold in the winter and you know, you can only take so much of that. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this journey and uh, second day of Vlogmas already in the books. This is gonna be so much fun. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.